Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and it has been one year since the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, in celebration of its one-year existence, for the fun of it, I designed a few Animal Crossing-themed Switch lights, since Nintendo never released a themed edition for the light. The New Horizons theme Switch is adorable, so I've been bummed. I have two different versions, dark gray and white. They both follow after the theme of the mint green and sky blue, like the Joy-Cons of the New Horizons theme Switch. So today I want to show you how I made these so that you can make them too. Let's get into it. Now first, before even thinking about attempting this project, please watch my Switch Lite shell swap tutorial all the way through. It's in 4K resolution and it's very in-depth. It's going to show you how to do this whole process from taking it apart to rebuilding it. You're also going to need the proper tools and parts. Now thankfully everything is simple to get from Amazon. Extreme Rate is the company that makes the custom shells and buttons for the Switch Lite. Now I also recommend a tool set from iFixit if you're serious about modding, because the tools that come with the parts for these mods are pretty crappy. I will link everything you need in the description below and the cost. So starting with the white model, this one is my favorite. It's so bright and cheery. So the body is a soft touch white with a gray screen border. We've got gray joystick caps with white paws and green and blue buttons. Even the shoulder buttons are colored. It does not matter which switch light color that you have. You can get this result with the parts and materials I will list for you in the description below. So first we start with the teardown process that I show in my shell swap video and remove this screen. Bring the screen over to the white shell as well as the joystick guards. Then reinstall the midframe. Now this video will show the basic reassembly process to show you how I did this mod, but please follow my shell swap video tutorial closely as well. There's a lot in detail that I don't show here. Next, install the joysticks and place your chosen combination of buttons with their button covers. To emulate the New Horizons switch, I put the green buttons on the left and the blue buttons on the right. Since you're going to need to order the green and blue button sets separately, you can orient the colors however you choose. You can see on the gray version that I used the inverse configuration. Now put the left board back in and replace the screws. Then settle the main board back into place and slide the right speaker underneath the board. Do this before you replace all the screws. And check the result. I love it already. Next, place the green and blue L and R shoulder buttons into their slots and pay special attention to those springs. Don't lose them. Now to hold these in place, reassemble the ZL and ZR button frames with your chosen button combination and screw those into place. Now again, the in-depth process is shown on my shell swap tutorial video. Now install and connect the fan. Then connect the ribbon cables for the display before installing the game card slot slash headphone jack. And connect all of the ribbon cables throughout both boards and install the volume button and power button board. Now it should be back together enough to test and make sure that all is working. So once you're satisfied with the function, you must put new thermal paste between the processor and the heat pipe for the console to work properly. I can't stress this enough, you must do this. You can't reuse the old paste. Then once you've done that, you also need to install paste between the heat pipe and the metal shield before screwing it down. I used MX4 between the processor and the heat pipe and then K5 Pro between the heat pipe and the metal shield, though you can just use MX4 for all of it, or you can use whatever your favorite thermal paste is. I'm going to put links below to Amazon in the description. Now with everything back together, grab the white back cover and install the game card cover, the SD card cover, then finally add the white buttons for the volume and power button, and don't forget the gray button pad to keep everything in place. Now close her all on up and replace the screws. Now go ahead and add the joystick covers to complete the theme. See the Amazon links below to purchase these. Et voila! You should now have a fully functioning Animal Crossing themed Switch Lite. 
Now this extreme rate white shell kit also comes with a white screen border. It also doubles as a screen protector. So you can install that if you like the uniform look or you can keep the screen border gray if you own a gray switch light. Now, if you don't have a gray switch light and you want this gray look, purchase the gray screen border screen protectors from Extreme Rate. It's linked below. Now, as for the gray version, I love this one as well. And white isn't for everyone, so it was fun to make more than one option. It's also neat that this one has the option of saying switch on the back. So first, start with a gray switch light, or you can purchase the gray shell from deal for go off of Amazon, linked below. And as far as I can tell, it is an OEM shell, and it's a very high quality one. Now for this guy, you're going to use the exact same process as the white version to install the colored buttons, and then reassemble the switch. And of course, for this, I will once again direct you to my in-depth shell swap tutorial so that you can do this safely. So once it's back together, add a black screen border from Extreme Rate and pop on the joystick covers. For this unit, I chose the white caps with blue and green leaves. Definitely gives a nod to New Horizons. I thought it looked best this way. Check the links in the description for these guys from Amazon. So there you have it. Finally, a New Horizons theme switch light in a few options. Now, granted, these are not cheap projects, costing between $70 to $100, depending. But the results are outstanding, and if you're wanting to get into modding or are just a huge fan of the game, then this might be worth it to you. Now, of course, this project voids the warranty, and I'm not responsible for any mistakes you might make or damage that you may cause. But if you follow my shell swap tutorial, I think you will be successful in doing this. So let me know what you guys think. Will you attempt this project? Let me know if there are any other projects that you would like to see me attempt. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please like, comment, subscribe. Happy modding and have a good day, you guys.